For the next 90 days, I'm following a carnivore diet. What's a carnivore diet? It's exactly how it sounds. You only eat meat. No fruits, no vegetables, no condiments, no spices, nothing but meat. I understand how crazy this sounds. If it's not a diet for the trolls of Middle Earth, then it must be the best troll since teenage Redditors convinced grown men of the Flat Earth. The only reason I gave the diet any credibility is because I heard about it from a well-renowned University of Toronto professor. You're on this carnivore diet yes, now. Yes, I've been on a pure carnivore diet for about two months. I eat beef and salt and water. That's it, and I never cheat. Dr. Peterson is a professor of psychology, so his knowledge of nutrition is somewhat limited. Remember, everyone listening, I am not an expert in this field. But the results that he claims to receive seem almost limitless. Okay, so this is what happened. I stopped snoring the first week, and my psoriasis disappeared, and I had floaters in my right eye, and they cleared up. Then I lost seven pounds the first month, and I've actually gained musculature. I need way less sleep. I get up in the morning and I'm fine. I'm not anxious, I'm not depressed. I'm stronger, I can swim better. I'm certainly intellectually at my best at the moment. And my gum disease is gone. I'm better now probably than I've ever been in my life. Dr. Peterson has had some recent health problems and his critics are quick to point to his diet as the number one culprit. But he's also not the only person claiming that this diet cured their autoimmune conditions or mental health diseases. Joe Rogan went on the diet and his results were pretty incredible. I did the carnivore diet for all of January. I lost 12 pounds, gained a ton of energy. I lost all my fat. I lost my love handles. I also have an autoimmune disorder. It's called vitiligo, and my vitiligo improved as as good as I felt in a long time, and it's just one month. These claims sound good, but there's no data to support them. And what would happen if someone follows the diet for more than a month? You're gonna feel like shit eventually. Right. Is it gonna start breaking your body down? Right. I don't know. I, I only have experience in 30 days. What is it like if you extend that to 90 days? That is exactly what I'm going to find out. I will follow the diet for 90 days using every diagnostic tool available to measure my health, physical attributes, and cognitive abilities. I'm going to put the claims of the carnivore diet's most devout practitioners to the test. The first thing that I think when I hear the word diet is weight loss. And weight loss is a universal claim of carnivore dieters. I lost 50 pounds. I mean, I lost a legitimate 12 pounds of fat. Okay, so I was weighing in at 225 before starting the carnivore diet. Wow, just below 214 pounds. I just ate until I got full and I still ended up losing six pounds. But weight loss isn't always a good thing. I wanna build muscle or at least maintain what I have. That's why I'm using a DEXA scan to measure my body composition, lean mass, fat mass, and bone density. But lean mass isn't just muscle, it's everything that's not fat. I wanna know, is it possible to build muscle without carbs? To supplement the DEXA scan, I got a 3D body map to measure the circumference of each body part. Bigger muscles don't always mean stronger muscles. Since I don't wanna get weak, I'm working with a fitness coach to evaluate my strength changes through my one rep max on deadlifts and overhead press. And it's not just strength that matters. I also want to improve my stamina. And if the rowing machine isn't good enough, then I'm getting a VO2 max test to evaluate how well my body's utilizing oxygen. I'm working with a fitness photographer to take before and after photos and learn how my body visually changes throughout the duration of the diet. How you look on the outside doesn't always reflect how you feel on the inside. That's why I'm working with medical professionals to measure my blood markers and food sensitivities. I wanna learn how the changes on the outside of my body are reflected by my health on the inside. When I was following the carnivore diet, I took more command in the workplace than I ever had in the past. Was this a consequence of personality changes that came from the diet? Or is it because I was working for a company that went bankrupt? I'm working with a psychologist to administer a big five personality test and learn how my personality changes over the course of this diet. Because in spite of losing my job, my productivity actually skyrocketed. A sentiment echoed by many carnivore practitioners. So you've been doing this carnivore thing too? 
Mm -hmm. Usually what I eat is about two pounds of meat a day. The thing that people don't often talk about is being able to focus for long periods of time. Well, that's what I really got with the carnivore diet. This sounds great, but as a scientist, I think Lex would appreciate an objective evaluation of whether or not this effect is real. I'm measuring changes to my memory, attention, focus, and intelligence through an executive acumen battery. Or maybe I received these benefits because my body was utilizing energy more effectively. To evaluate this, I tested my resting metabolic rate, which evaluates how many calories your body uses at rest. Believe it or not, these are just a few of the diagnostics that we're using to get a comprehensive picture of my health. And I'm going to create a following video on each one of these diagnostics to explain exactly what they're measuring and how we can use this information to evaluate my health. I've been following different diets and workout programs for years now, so I have a fairly good idea of what's good for me and what isn't. I get 80% of my calories or more from Whole Foods and I work out four to seven days per week. I am fairly disciplined when it comes to maintaining my fitness regimen. What I'm curious about is how will this diet affect somebody who wants to get in better shape, who wants to lose weight, who wants to take control of their life, but has never had the discipline or motivation to maintain a program for a long period of time. That's why I'm recruiting a friend to follow the diet so we can see how will a carnivore diet affect somebody who's more representative of the general population. Will he have the discipline to maintain this? Let's find out. Two people might not be enough to arrive at a conclusion for everyone, but hey, it's a start. Joe says, It really helps if you're gonna try to stick to something, mm -hmm. to have like a real solid schedule. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. Starting today, 90 days of nothing but meat. What happens at the end? I'm as curious as you are. Maybe this is gonna be something that's so great that I end up sticking to it for the rest of my life, but maybe that life won't be too long. Or maybe at the end of the 90 days, I'll start experimenting, adding variations within the diet and learn if I can maintain the benefits while losing any consequences. Only time will tell. I don't know whether I should be nervous or excited, but either way, I can't wait to get started. This is going to be the hardest three months of my entire life, so I'm definitely gonna need whatever benefits these carnivores are claiming to receive in order to make it through. The next video is going to dive into the specifics of what I'm eating. Can you eat eggs and dairy? Can you drink coffee or tea? Can you use drugs and alcohol? Subscribe to the channel to find out. Thanks for watching and let me know in the comments what are you most excited about seeing come from this diet? Is this something that you would try yourself? Is it something that you would prescribe to your best friend or your worst enemy? Let me know and I look forward to seeing you all soon. Action!